gentlemen, we're working on crafts today. So it's December, and that means here on the ranch we're making gifts. We like to buy gifts too, but we make a lot. So today Tori is working on some leather keychains. So I got these at the thrift store. I got three of them. Don't take that off. I got them at the thrift store. I'm talking to you. Don't take that off of there. So I got them at the thrift store for 95 cents each. So I thought they would be a fun project. And all we did was, Tori, don't do that. That's not how it goes. You're going to ruin it. Just wait a sec. My goodness. Hold on. So this one I put her school picture in. And it's just the back. And then you put the front. And it's got the keychain part that you put in there. And it's got a little rib rivet. Wesley, no, don't move the camera. Wesley, move away from the cam. Bye, YouTube. See you later. I'll get it. All right, three-year-old interruption. We thought we needed to record the ceiling for some reason. Okay, so <laughs> it's a front and a back. You put a picture inside, and then you put the keychain in, and then it's got Mama. leather cording that you string, um, that you sew it together with. So on this one, we took her class picture from this year. On, on this, this one, one, I made one. She drew a picture, and then on this one, we took a um a coloring page and she colored in a coloring page and we put inside so we are making these for nana papa and Chi Chi. nana papa and Chi Chi. so we've got three leather straps three key rings three little doodads to hold it all together <laughs> this one is acting like a spring that one is acting like a spring okay there's two you boing, got all the parts boing, out of this one boing, and boing, there's three boing, where's boing, boing. There it is. Okay. There's all the parts. So we're going to keep that all together. So, now I used to hold these pictures in, I made them into a sticker from my sticker maker thing um, for my scrapbooking supplies. So you could probably, you probably don't even need to glue them in at all, really. I just didn't want them to slip. So I'm clipping this a little bit because I covered some of the holes there. Um, I know. You probably could use super glue or, you know, just kind of glue it in there or not even glue it at all. I don't know. I just wanted to glue it just in case. Okay, Wes, you can go out with Dad. Go ahead. So, let's, which one do you want to start with? I want to start with this one. This one. Okay, so this goes with this. So, I got my crochet needle kit here. And I want to look for, because these are blunt. So, if I was doing it all myself, I might use a sharp tip needle but these are blunt ones so since she's going to do it I'm going to let her use the blunt ones so we're going to take the leather and I've kind of worked this one through in my hand a little bit just to kind of loosen it up a little bit yeah I don't know how long it's been in that bag but they're a little tight I'm just holding it from the top and bottom so kind of loosening it up a little Okay, and then I'm going to, so we've not done this before. This is our first, our first uh, adventure into leather stitching, so I'm not sure exactly how to stop and start it. Hopefully the holes are big enough for this whole ensemble to get through there. Let me see, hon. I'm going to, I want to try first. Okay, so we're going to match up this first hole and this first hole, like that. Go away, Blake. The cat's under the table. Every time we open the door, a cat comes in. Okay, well, this needle's not going to work at all anyway, because it won't go through the hole. So let's see if we can just poke this through. Tori, leave the cat alone. Oh! No, put her down. There's a kitten on the screen. Put her down. Okay. All right, so let's leave that loose for now. And then I think all we're going to do is, do you just want to go up and down, up and down, or do you want to go around? I want to use the needle. No, we're not using the needle. It doesn't fit. So we're just going to have to go through like this and hope it works. Okay. Do you want to go around it or do you want to go up and down? Up and down. Okay, so up and down, I mean, we're now we're just going to go straight back through this hole. Maybe. Oh, I can see maybe why these were at the thrift shop. Got it through the hole. Yay! Can you help me? <laughs> yeah. This is much harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was hoping this would just fit in the needle easy and we could just boom, boom, boom like those little sewing cards that you have. Same idea, right? But 
Of course not. Okay. Selling cards? Yeah, remember those selling cards that you have? They're uh, oh, yeah. Disney Princess. Okay, so I'm trying a whip stitch on this one. We'll we'll see if I actually continue it, but for now I'm gonna work on Tori's because she has got. Where's the end, Tori? Well, honey, you can't put it in the next hole until you pull through the hole you're working on. Granny apple pie. Granny apple pie. Yeah, that's what it says. Where did you get it from? It, it does say Granny's apple pie, but where did you get it from? And what is it? It's a new lace. I'm wearing one of my mom's rings. <laughs> we just went through the jewelry box, so of course she had to pick out something. For me to wear. But she cannot wear it tomorrow to school because we just got the reminder that jewelry is not appropriate for school. The whole school got it, not just us. We did not break the rules. Can we wear necklaces? No. Why? What do you think jewelry is? Uh -huh. Bracelet. Rings, bracelets, earrings, necklaces. But Chloe and Bella always wear earrings and necklaces. Well, they're not supposed to. It's against the rule. Maybe it's because Chloe's mom is a teacher. It is not. I think pierced ears are okay if they're if they're wearing earrings with pierced ears. Okay, this picture is over this hole a little bit. I thought I trimmed it enough, but it's stuck. No problem. It's not. It doesn't smell like granny apple pie at all. It smells like old Play-Doh. Well, that's probably what it is. That makes sense. Okay. Let's okay. All right, we're going to work on stitching this. You don't need to watch us the whole time. So we will skip now to all three magically being laced. Okay guys, so we've been stitching on these for quite a while and we got three different designs. There's a regular running stitch. This one has a whip stitch. And this one has a crisscross. And that one I did a crisscross and then just a regular running stitch around, but I skipped a couple holes. So it's kind of like a little ornament. All right, so now what we need to do, and again, there's no instructions, so we're just kind of winging it. I'm going to put the key ring in here. On the hole. Fold, no, that's not how it goes. Fold this up. Wesley's still upset that his video is on hold. Mute. Oh, yeah, mute. Okay, and I'm just going to roll that all in like that and then put um, the, uh -huh. hold on, that's the back. Put the tongue of this in, put the back on, and then I assume that you just, oh, they squeeze. Okay, good. Squeeze. I got a hammer, so we're going to, I don't know if this is necessary. I feel like it's more clipped like that. What do you think, Tori? Mm -hmm. Okay, give that a little pull test. See if you can pull it apart or if we did it. Uh, don't be crazy. Can you? It's good. And here's right. the first one. There you go. First one done. Okay, and I'll work. Can I do my show not on Yes, Wesley. We'll put your show on in just a second. I think he might watch a little mm -hmm. too much TV. Okay, we're going to push that down. This one doesn't want to bend as easily. Oh. Okay, we've got the holes lined up. Pull the ring out. Gonna put this there. You go, there we go. Okay, and then we'll put this on. Put its little back on. These pieces are so small. It's hard for my hands to even hold on to them. Okay. All right, we push that one on. Now, smack. And you can kind of see that thing poke through the back, so I think it's not poking through, but it makes it an indent, so I think that's right. I don't want my show on Wesley, me. we're almost done, hon. Okay, Tori, you getting it? Let me see. We're, this is, we're almost see. done. Okay. Wes, don't play with the camera, please, hon. Wesley, okay. go. I'm playing with that. Okay, well, don't move the camera. Okay, pull that through. Wesley, is our head small? <laughs> playing with the settings on the camera, so hopefully you can still see I us. I can see that. You can see that? Okay, don't move anything, hon. Wes, you're playing on the camera. Wes. I hit it. I know. Okay, we got the ring and yeah. that. And get ready for hammering. Ready? 
we used to have in our first house that we bought, the garage had a sign that the guy before us had left that said, stop your yammering while I'm hammering. That's what I'm saying to them. Stop your yammering while I'm hammering. And there we go. Three keychain gifts made. I'm thinking about maybe using my, um, there you go. I'm thinking about maybe using my wood burning tool on the back. But I don't know yet. For now, we're going to call them done and see if we decide to do something else. That was a fun little project, although the stitching does take a long time and you can't use a needle. So um, don't think it's as simple as it is. She's seven. She definitely could not do it. I, as an adult, could barely do, do it. So it's, it's not a simple kid's craft. It does take a little intervention. So, oh, very cute, Tori. All right, there you go. Are we done with our crafting for today? Yep. All right, Christmas gift made. Ho, ho, ho.